Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Business Technology Platform Training with me and above. In this episode, we are going to learn how can we create and auto-generate our CDS model from a entity definition markup XML. What is EDMX? EDMX is nothing but a specification of your APIs available in your existing on-premise or on the cloud systems. You can auto-generate the model automatically in the cloud application programming model using these EDMX files. So this is especially required when you have large entities which are very look very similar to uh, the existing entities into the business suite or S4 HANA system and you want to auto generate the data model out of the box. So that's where this is going to help you to generate the model automatically. So for detailed training on cloud application programming model along with Java based, JavaScript based uh, cloud SDK, feel free to subscribe our course on SAP business technology platform with Anubov trainings. So let me go ahead and show you how can we build model from EDMX file? So I'll switch over to SAP Business API Hub where I can go and explore existing APIs available in different cloud and on-premise solutions. And here I switch to the SAP S4 HANA and search for an API for sales order. When I search for the same, I would find that we have got here a sales order API, which is already available in S4 HANA systems to expose data of sales order. Now, what I just do is I go and download this EDMX file, the specification of my OData API offered by every S4 HANA system. Once I download this on my computer, I will go back to my CAPM project. And in the SRV folder, I will just create a new folder called EDMX. And once I create this, I will switch over back to my downloads and just drag this and drop it on my EDMX folder and just wait and relax and see the magic. So what system does now it automatically understand this new EDMX file which I've imported to my folder and it generates the specification uh, or the data model CSN automatically according to the uh, according to my EDMX file. So what would you see as a result or what would you expect as a result? So when you go back and now run your application you can see you've got automatically the sales order entity points or endpoints displayed over here, which are very similar to the structure of SAP S4 HANA API. Now you can go to metadata and wow, you can see complete replica of that sales order API with all the association and entities are now available. You can also go back and check a Fury app review of how would that API extension would look like when you go with SAP S4 HANA extension in cloud platform wow amazing so that's the power what capm gives you which can automatically generate the data model out of the box from a edmx file yes so this is how you can use the concept of edmx file transforming into your service model in capm if you're interested to learn complete cloud application programming model with sap cloud platform Feel free to subscribe our training on anubavtrainings.com. With that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next episode.